So in this video, we will see the connection between Mrs. Indira Gandhi and the Jaigarh Fort. Then we'll have a look at the Jaiwan Cannon. It's the biggest cannon on wheels at those times. You, it's situated in this fort. Quite a sight to look at. Look at the size of this cannon, uh, the Jaiwana Cannon. And there is obviously a museum for all the arms and ammunition you can find. A very nice place so hey guys welcome to my channel and it's the travel and food doctor here and today we are going to have a look at the Jaigarh fort i'll cover a bit part of its history the treasure hunt by mrs indira gandhi uh, which is a mystery in itself till date uh, we will have a look at that and we'll explore this wonderful fort it has an entry fee of some 150 rupees and but it's quite a place to visit if you are in Jaipur then you have to uh, you have to visit the Jaigarh and as I have shown in the other videos the Nahargarh fort and the Amer fort or the Amber palace as they call it so you, these are must visit places when you are in Jaipur so let's explore on our own the Jaigarh fort so let's dive into the Jaigarh fort and Indira Gandhi connection it's a treasure hunt saga so Jaigarh Fort is a magnificent historical site in Jaipur, Rajasthan, known for its imposing architecture and the rich history. However, it also holds a fascinating connection to the former Indian Prime Minister, Mrs. Indira Gandhi. So the story goes that in 1976, during the emergency period, Mrs. Indira Gandhi had ordered a massive treasure hunt at the Jaigarh Fort because of the rumor that it's fought, uh, that its water tanks and other hidden chambers contain very vast amounts of treasure. So this operation, it lasted for several months and it involved its extensive digging and exploration of the entire fort. So there were many theories uh, because the government needed the funds during the emergency and a possible attempt to find evidence against the, even the political opponents at that time uh, during the emergency. Uh, that is why possibly this treasure hunt was organized, so to speak. And despite the extensive search, there was no significant treasure found in Jaigarh and that has only added to the mystique surroundings, surrounding this beautiful fort, which is a must visit in Jaipur. So, the mystery still persists. The, tre the treasure hunt at Jaigarh Fort remains a captivating chapter in India's history. This is the untold history of India. You won't find this in the history books for sure, just like the emergency. And even today, the fort's hidden depths and possibilities of undiscovered wealth continue to intrigue various historians, treasure hunters, and the general public alike. So would you not want to visit the Jaigarh Fort for sure yes do visit it let's see check out the other aspects of this fort in the rest of the video stick till the end to check out the museum and the jaiwan cannon that is the largest cannon on wheels at that particular time so let's continue you can see the stones ashwik is a bit tired now ashwik where are we it's a fort, it's Jaigarh, which means victory fort. Yes, victory what? fort. Yes. Yes. Can you tell uh, our viewers to like the video? Like, share, subscribe and ring the bell. Ding. Yes, very good. So Jaigarh Fort, it's a majestic structure perched on the Chilka Tila, that is the Eagle's Hill in Jaipur. It's a treasure trove of history and architectural brilliance. So let's see some facts. It has the world's largest cannon on wheels. Like I said before, it's the Jaiwan Cannon. It was once the largest cannon on wheels uh, and it weighs a staggering 50 tons and one cannonball, it could fire weighed about 50 kgs it could hurl it up to 35 kilometers yes climb up Ashwik you can do it 
You're tired? It's okay, you can still try. Imagine the strength of that one. Uh, we have that cannonball in the museum as well. So we will have a look at that when we go to the museum I had in this video. So do, do stick around. And it's a strategic masterpiece. Like I've been saying, the three forts are meant to protect. Wow, Jekyll. cannonball! That's so nice. I love cannonball. Okay, thank you, Ashwik. Ashwik, wait, Ashwik. So these three forts, the Amer Fort, the Nahargad Fort and the Jaigad Fort, these are marvels of military architecture. Their strategic locations and robust fortifications make them virtually impregnable and very important in the uh, protection of the city. Let's enter the cannon foundry. Let's check how cannons are made. First, we'll check this cannon. Ashwik, it We'll check this bajrang one. Bajrang cannon. Decorated with two dolphins. Dolphin and the handles. Now heading to the cannon foundry. So it is also said that there is a hidden passage, underground hidden passage, connecting the Jagad Fort to the Amar Fort, which allowed for secret communication and escape routes fort not only serves as a defense stronghold but it was also a center for artillery production the jaiwan cannon itself was manufactured right in the fort's premises it's an indigenous weapon for sure and the foundry is still there you can watch the parts where they make all those uh, various cannons that are still there we will explore that as well on to the next one That's the mouth alley. So here you can see the amber fort from here and the huge wall. You have your own Great Wall of India. Second to the Great Wall of China. And you can oversee the city so it stays protected. Like I said, the three forts, Nahargad, Jaigad and the Amber Fort. You can see the Amber Fort here. I'll just try to zoom in to just see this is the Amber Fort clearly visible so you can oversee the entire city and the Amber Fort. We have the lake here. Nice. Off to the canopy. Yes, K. Yes, look at this. That's the canopy of the umbrella, which was visible from the umber fort. 
beautiful looking scenes here. Look at this. I think this area is restricted, so you cannot see anyone there. But it looks so beautiful. <laughs> Wow, look at this ghostly looking place. So you'll need to walk a bit on this fort. There's a lot to cover uh, and such wonderful sights all over. Look at those canopies that that canopy, umbrella canopy was visible from the Amar fort. Look at the view it has to offer. Again, you can see the Mauta Lake, lots of greenery, nice perimeter of the fort. Just zooming on to the canopy. Swimming on the canopy, I said. This is Lakshmi Nivas, and Balit Mandir is ahead. Nice tree. Looks pretty old. This is where they used to stay. Was here the guy? This is where the king and queen used to live. Let's head to the palace complex. You also have a can foundry, we'll check that out later. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Fine. Oh, look at this palace. Look at this palace. Nice and breezy as well. That's one peculiarity here. You get this closed rooms but still lots of breeze good ventilation <laughs> let's head towards the palace Some large grey babblers they are present in group of seven, so they are also known as Sadbai. Hello Babbler. How are you doing? Ashwik is it? Yes. Giving his commentary. So, we can teach them, we can teach them. Tell them. There are some temples you can visit. 
You have to take out your footwear, obviously. Then let's go to the temple. Kal Bhairo. This is a hey, so good fort like a guard karta. Let's check out the armory. You can click some photos in Rajasthani dress. Lots of spots there. Let's check in the armory. And obviously there is a museum of warfare. It now houses a museum which showcases impressive collection of arms, ammunition and other military artifacts. Uh, similar to the central museum. You can check out that video in the eye button. It's a wonderful museum, central museum and Albert Hall in Jaipur. I am me. This is the axe on Parshu. Parshuram used to wield this weapon, the axe. So this is the cannon with a tiger mouth, Nahar Mukti. Tiger mount and the other one is Canon Maduri. Kodak Bijli. Again, looks like a tiger. Siha one. So this is a lion, lion mounted cannon. Nagin. Canon Nagin. This is a replica of the Jaiva one. Made up of bum. And this is the cannonball for Jaiva. 50 cases. Imagine this is falling on your head. Squash. Let's climb up this and take the view. Oops. Wow. Oh, that seems to have caused, caused a flutter. It also boasts of beautiful palaces, gardens and reservoirs offering a glimpse into the opulent lifestyle of its former inhabitants. Rock pigeons. We also explored one temple of Kal Bhairav, the deity Kal Bhairav, so that was also a good experience. So let's wander around this uh, fort. Not going to enter this 
No, we are not going there. Carrying such a long perimeter of the fort, it will take a lot of time to walk and check out each and everything, of course. Again, you can find some monkeys monkeying around. Let's get down and see. Or is it still? We can climb this up for some other good pigs. Let's go down. Do subscribe to our channel and videos and enjoy this video thank you so much ashwik and uh, you like, can like share subscribe let's get down there down to the bats towards the bastion Let's check this out. Look at this view. Such an amazing view. you want to keep a lookout on your enemies with such a cannon the cannon has used a 50 kg iron ball to fire the artillery and had a range of about 35 kilometers just imagine You can look at the bastion there for defense. We'll check that out. And look at that. Look at this view. There's a armory in this fort. Absolutely amazing. Have a look at this bastion. You can have some handguns and cannons for defense. Let's see the view from here. Wow. Don't know why people do this. I sure. And finally, we have reached the Jaiwan Cannon. This was pulled by elephants, the biggest cannon at that time on wheels. Look at this. Huge barrel. Look at those wheels. 
एक गोला जिसके किले के बैक के अंदर आप लोगों को म्यूजियम वाले रखो उसी म्यूजियम के अंदर The range was up to 35 kilometer. That's what the guide said. I overheard some ease dropping down. And look at those hills. And you can check out our other videos like the Amar Fort, the Shish Mal, and the Amar Fort. Absolutely mind-boggling. You have to see it. And then also the Nahar Gut Fort. Uh, which is the tiger fort so do keep on following us and we hope to bring a lot much more and we'll head back now to slightly tired because of all both the forts walking in both the forts so we are heading back and do like comment and share this video do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon do check out all the other videos from Rajasthan and the other places.